Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be having a look at a LEGO Galaxy Squad mod. A modified LEGO Galaxy Squad vehicle from 2013. The uh, Verbin Vaporizer. This was my first Galaxy Squad set in early 2013. There is the vaporizer and we can see that it has a split function the uh, robot comes out the back and there is Chuck Stonebreaker and his robot sidekick green I just call him green call all the robot sidekicks just by their color uh, we've seen the, uh, the Scorp Walker in a different video already so let's have a look at the uh, vaporizer now this is this is just called the vaporizer in my personal galaxy squad mythos that I've created because galaxy squad wasn't planning on fighting against the insectoids galaxy squads original charter before the insectoid war begins is a mixture of uh, law enforcement and first responder they're on the uh, frontier of human exploration of space. There are five colonies on the uh, frontier. And Galaxy Squad is the like the local sheriff. They're, they're very far away from Earth. And by the time they send a message to Earth and... and by the time Star Command sends a, uh, a ship out to investigate, if, if something happens, um, by the time they, they do that, it might be too late. And if there's a disaster at one of the colonies or something like that. So Galaxy Squad is a, a permanent fixture on the frontier of human space exploration. There are five colonies pretty close to each other on the frontier. They're very far away from Earth. And their role is uh, part law enforcement, so they're the big guns of law enforcement, and first responder in case uh, something goes wrong, if there's a fire, if, you know, if there's some kind of disaster that happens at one of the colonies. Um, in addition, because they're so far away from Earth and they don't really know what's out there yet, Galaxy Squad is authorized by Star Command to have dealings with aliens, be they peaceful or hostile. And this thing is rolling around, yeah. Um, so the Galaxy Squad commander is, is authorized to speak and act on behalf of... Uh, Star Command if aliens happen to come along if if aliens show up and, and that's exactly what happens in the, in the story uh, the story is actually kind of tragic uh, its first contact with the insectoids uh, gone awry and that's that's a mixture of uh, misunderstanding uh, Galaxy Squad misunderstands what the insectoids are doing and why they're doing it. And also there's another group of aliens called the Barrelons who come along and they deceive Galaxy Squad into believing that the Zemdari Empire is an evil empire. Um, but all that is for another time. Anyway, um, that's what I came up with for my story. So, so Galaxy Squad is uh, uh, like the local sheriff on the frontier. They're law enforcement, and they're also first responders. Now, each colony, each of the five colonies, does have its own security personnel there, and their own first responders. Galaxy Squad is the big guns of the first responders. They have a uh, mobile mobile base which I have not constructed yet but I have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like. Um, they have a mobile base that can be moved from one planet to another. 
um, that is fully stocked with a uh, state-of-the-art medical facilities and you know stuff like that and the vaporizer is is, is part combat vehicle and also part ambulance it has a medical facility in the back we'll see that in a moment so it's and, and Chuck Stonebreaker is a uh, a trained uh, paramedic and we got green there with the green robot sidekick he's also a trained paramedic so this is uh, this is the vaporizer this is my first Galaxy Squad set, and it's it's cool. I love it. It's uh, most of the Galaxy Squad vehicles are very well designed. They're um, very nice. Anyway, I did some modifications to this, so let's let's get into that. Um, is that rolling away? Okay. First of all. They, they did have some gold here and there. And on the inside there, we can see just a little bit of the gold there. They had some gold, some red back back here in the back. Just some, some odd color choices that I didn't like here and there. And if we look at the front of the vehicle, it's got a little the, the this piece is separated from this piece and we can see a little ridge between them so I redesigned the front let's let's take uh, Chuck out in his little battle buggy here let's set him aside so I redesigned the front so that it's flush with the the part that curves also took one of these from a heroica set and uh, put it there in place of the uh, the gold parts so if we uh, can we get this off and we can see some of their uh, infrastructure of how they did it. Okay, you gonna stay? Okay, good. They use uh, these lovely pieces. Love these things with uh, with this on top, and you can build sideways off of it. And the pegs, or the studs, the pegs line up as such. And if you use two of these, it's not going to line up correctly. Can we, hopefully we can see how it's not lining up uh, quite right for you to uh, build sideways off of that. So that's where this part comes in. You can put it on top of it too. It's uh, two layers high, the, the brick is three layers high, and we can build sideways. So that's what they did there, they, they, they stacked this, and then put some stuff here, and then another one of these on top, kind of build it up so that you can build off of it. So. What I did here was just uh, sort of redesign the, uh, the the front so that these uh, these bricks here with the pegs sticking out are lined up correctly for this uh, angled piece to be flush with the uh, the curvy curvy piece. And I think that looks pretty good. It could probably uh, take a part of a sticker like like part of this part of this sticker and put it on there with the, with the stripe going down the middle 
that'd be a good idea. Now that I have more Galaxy Squad sticker sheets to work with. Uh, that's one thing I did. Um, let's have another look at the box here. Let's see if I can show this. Uh, the interior is is just it's look at that. It's a hodgepodge of dark green. We got some dark beige there. We got the gold, a little bit of gold. We got some. Um, the floor is partly gray and then it's partly uh, dark gray and uh, we got some beige back there it's, it's just a hodgepodge of I don't know why they do that and along here we have some dark green and just a hodgepodge of colors so I made the interior you know the walls here and the walls that are built up I, I just made it gray and the floor too and those little stoppers in the back I kept the black walls back there I don't think it's too bad and I stuck a few extra control panels on the sides there for Chuck and this part that sticks out in the back that it was open and there's a gap there for the uh, where the bubble canopy sits I got this part up front so I, I took another wedge piece and did a lot of work with this area in through here and we have another little control console on the side so that when Chuck is in there his little battle buggy. There he is. Close that up. I like Chuck. He's he's happy. He's got a big old smile on his face. I don't think I did any modifications to this one. It's, it's a small little, little thingy. He's got a little control console there. Another thing I did that we probably already noticed is the the cannons up front. Yeah, let's look at the front. The cannons up front and the cannons on the back there don't have any green bulbs on them but they use the green bulbs for the flick fire missile there and the robot has two flick fire missiles on his arms so I took uh, I took some pieces and I added uh, some bulbs so they, they shoot green lasers and these other ones are, are missiles. They, the vaporizer uses uh, green energy weapons. And going to the back, is it going to roll away? Yes it is. Whole green off of there with his little robot. You gonna stay? Um, did some cosmetic modifications to this. Um, I think there was some gold on these parts in there. Replaced it with white. Feet can open, you gotta turn it around. A few more clicks on the joints there. I think I did some.
just some cosmetic modifications on this. Nothing. Nothing great. I I, I like how this these these uh, uh these joints on the legs are. I like that. They use the um, the 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 dark beige uh, Technic. Uh, what do you call those? It's a cross beam with a peg on the end, and it's got just enough friction. Real, really nice design there. A really nice design on this on the whole. We can move his move his arms to aim his blaster weapons. And there is green. Oh, they had his console buried deep down in there at his feet, so I just put a brick in there and raised it up so that it's it's uh, more on the same height as his 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 ha hands, so that he can look like he's operating his little control console. And I think there is a gold piece back here. They also had an antenna. I don't know why. Um, none of the other Galaxy Squad vehicles have antennas, but I eventually just took that off. It it's one of those high standing antennas so we got our little robot enforcer here with with green in it we got his uh, his weapon and his shield attached on there and here is the medical bay in the back now they want you to use the uh, the cocoon is that going to roll away They want you to use the cocoon that you can put a minifigure in, and then you put it into the medical bay and they analyze it. So, um, it's not much different. Nice little analyzing uh, display there. We got a little scanner device, and I stuck a uh, uh, medical bed in there, a stretcher. Got a control console. The reason why the uh, the uh, walls have holes in them so a minifigure can fit fit there, sit down, and use the control console, and his his left arm will fit through the uh, fit into the uh, the opening. Likewise, on the other side. Another thing I did was. <clears throat> Uh, in the back there, they use they use those uh, gray bricks with the uh, they use these so so that you can build sideways off of it, and it, it kind of creates a little hodgepodge in the back. So I got together a bunch of single uh, white ones for a more uniform color scheme on the walls in the back there. I got. Uh, on the wall behind the little scanner there and right there. At the time they did not make the double sized um, brick with the peg on the side in, in white. It was only gray and maybe a couple other colors. So we, we got just a more uniform white color scheme on the walls in the back here. And I filled out some parts of the floor with uh, tiles. We got these tiles and grills back here. It's where the robot's feet go. So I put some tiles in there. So this is uh, the ambulance part. You know, they would uh, put a put a uh, a person in there. They've got uh, their scanner and medical devices. That's the uh, ambulance part of the vehicle, and I think that that's all the modifications I've done to this. Overall, it's 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 a good design. I it just needed some cosmetic 
modifications here and there for me. Um, just to make it more to my liking, add some more detail. I should probably take this part out so that they can get the stretcher in and out of there as needed. Um, find another way to, for the robot to, uh, to connect. Or maybe make it removable. Let's put it that way. Well, that is the vaporizer. And it is called just the vaporizer. Are you going to roll away from me? It definitely rolls away from me. That way. And there is Chuck. That is the vaporizer. The vermin vaporizer. But I just call it the vaporizer. It's it's a mainstay of Galaxy Squad's fighting force. It's it's one of their regular vehicles that they use a lot. And I think that's that's pretty much all the all the modifications I did to it. Now in the future, um, so that so that the vaporizer can get from one planet to another I'm going to do an engine block attachment that attaches in the back and then they can attach that to the back and it has engines so that it can it can take off and, and fly to another planet and then land and then detach from the uh, engine block and they're good to go so we'll probably be seeing this uh, vehicle again sometime on the Zix TV when I when I get around to doing that and um, that, that's that's what I did with with this it's a great set very cool that is the vaporizer part ambulance and part tank part assault tank fighting force. Thank you for watching.